glass of water. Cheers. OK, okay. now we've, we uh, when we are in a workshop, everybody ha will have done their complaints or ailments or whatever, or anything that they would want to enhance. And we'll have a little discussion about that, not too deeply, but I would ask um, the clients or the viewers, the people in the workshop, what is, uh, what is in balance or what is out of balance and what was, where would you like to focus on? So that everybody will have a goal of their own. Perhaps they might want to they fill this in when they're doing the homework so they have enough time to think about it, what they want as a goal and to bring back in balance. OK, now we've got the 13 rules, like I said before, the 13 tones. <laughs> yeah, the 13 tones. <laughs> and um, I, I've i done my exercise on this one already <laughs> because um, basically every single one of them, I have coupled them to the tarot. Um, so I have already been thinking about what I want to do as a goal. Uh, I want to stop smoking. So we'll see whether we succeed. <laughs> I'll most probably will explode that way. OK, no, I've, I've not decided on one yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to it's going to be fun. Everybody will be cracking. You know, you, it's like taking something negative and turning it into positive. And it makes me even giggle on my own, you know, look at myself. <laughs> uh, I can look in the mirror, thank goodness. OK, well, the first one, the first rule is know thyself. And that is to me, the magician. Have no illusions. Don't be, don't have, uh, don't make any delusions. Don't have any delusions. Be transparent. You've got all the elements within you to do what it takes. That's quite profound, isn't it? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Then uh, number two, know thy craft. Yes. And that is the three of pentacles and the eight of pentacles. The three of pentacles is also an apprentice that is chipping away literally in the um, perhaps i'll have to get the traditional tarot for uh wait wait right away and so that you can see the pictures because he's chipping away there and there's two people looking at him and he's got recognition so improving yourself you will start beaming electricity out once you start working, so you have to get to know yourself. That's how I look at it. Not just as the uh, the rules of the Wiccans or the witches, but they're so profound and you can relate to them and they will resonate to you once you start thinking the rules through for you. For everybody, it most probably will mean different. What does it mean to you, know thy craft? To me, it's about putting in the time and effort to to learn all the nitty gritty details that make you really stand out and good at what you do, whether it be that you're doing it as as witchcraft or whether it's something that you're learning to make or do. Um, so it's really wise rules so far for generally in life, I would say. Yeah, yeah. Because when you when you really know how to do what it is that you love, you get the recognition for it anyway. Yeah. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. You will get recognised because of your passion and love and detail for what you do. Yeah, and you start recognising yourself. Yeah. Number three, learn. Knowledge is power. And uh, knowledge is power. Uh, I've put here, I've put the Hierophant, the Emperor, because they're higher than the Kings and they delegate and they know what they want and everybody looks up at them for recognition. So, yeah, I wouldn't mind being the Empress or the Emperor. 
And that's how I related to, to that. And knowledge, you must always use knowledge wisely and with a pure heart, I think, and not abuse it. Because it will come back to you threefold. Yeah, yeah, that, that was something that, if, if that's okay, I'd like to add to the, to the learning yes. and, and yes. knowledge being power, is that by constantly having that almost childlike wonder and wanting to learn and absorb, you don't let your ego get the better of you. You stay humble. Yeah. So for me, that that's my my version of that. To keep being curious, keep learning, keep evolving and changing and growing. Yeah. You don't stop learning until you are between six blanks. Yeah. That's what my father used to say. Again, that old fashioned mentality is coming out in this book big time for me. Yeah. Then we go to five, um, no, four, apply knowledge with wisdom. And that is what I just said. Don't abuse your knowledge and your wisdom. Use it in good faith and love and purity. And that was uh, the emperor. Also, um, number five, achieve balance in your life and everything around you. And that was justice. Justice because it's just to do so, but also the skills. And if you start thinking deeper, it could also mean Libra. <laughs> um, yeah. And we're really there in the time of Libra. So, yeah, there's magical things already happening because of this book and this discussion and the way I've started to think. I think it's beautiful. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you are as well. Yeah, me too. So, get life in your, uh, get your, get balance in your life, your own life, and around you. Not just in, and don't just look in front of you, but look around you. And that's why I added the four of cups because there's a hand hovering, but the man is sitting down with his head bent. I can't do that, it's my neck. And it looks like if he's too much in his head or if he's depressed and he's not focusing what's happening around him because the beauty is all around you in the house and outside the house. Yeah, also, we all, also again, that earthly thing. Six, keep your words in good order Negativity breeds ne negativity. Yeah. I think that's really... <laughs> think before you speak, especially if you're an air sign. <laughs> Woo, Charlotte, you're a Gemini. Okay. <laughs> what sign are you, by the way? I'm a Leo. Ah, we haven't had Leo yet. No, we haven't. Okay. Then, um, uh, so that's the King of Swords I've put there. And then seven, keep your thoughts in good order. And I've put there the, the King of Swords, the Queen of Swords, um, and really just all the Kings, because they've got the status of the Kings, so they have to be intelligent. And all the Aces. Yeah. Oh, sorry, the Ace of Swords. I beg your pardon. Because that means victory. It means communication. And it also stands for wisdom and justice balance. For me. Um, that was keep your thoughts in good order. And this you can do through um, being mindful. Don't be too much in your mind. This can also be done through writing. Boom, the book, the workbook. And again, this is my own interpretation of the rules. Meditating, contemplation. After meditating, if, if you don't, if, if the clients don't, uh, the people in the workshop don't do meditation because they don't know how, we will teach them, hopefully. 
and there's no wrong way of doing it. That's why I say meditation, contemplation, because you can just sit quietly, but just do 10 minutes in the morning. Think really and focus on something that you want to do that day. And Bill might bring, bring you answers, but just sit quietly in a sacred place. Somewhere that you don't hear TV or radio or a telephone or whatever. Switch off your telephone and then with your eyes closed, but we'll go into that and then 10 minutes to get back to the here and now because it's happened to me with meditation or contemplation but if i open my eyes it's dizzy and i'm whoa where am i now yeah. and if you do that in the evening and preferably three hours before you go to sleep that was what i was taught with the transcendental meditation center uh, because it will rejuvenate you and give you a kickstart for the day and if you do it at night, just before you go to sleep, uh, you'll be wide awake. So three hours before sleeping, I never do it. Because it rejuvenates you. Okay, can you add anything on to that? I didn't know that. That's quite interesting. Um, well, meditation. My, yeah, my meditation practices, I will sometimes do before I go to sleep. Because that, it actually makes me fall asleep. Is it a different meditation that you do then? Uh, possibly. Um, normally I'll just put on some relaxing music and then focus on my breath. And then that helps me to relax my body fully to be able to drift off to sleep. Yes. I've got a resting mind. I, there was a guy on YouTube and he's a doctor. And that's an exercise that I do before I do go to sleep. Close my eyes and then take concentrate on my breathing and after the fourth to the sixth breath boom gone yeah okay we've got a couple of more yeah. um we've got celebrate life and all in uh and all the stages of it yes you can only yeah. do that if you focus around you not just in front of you um because uh what did i say on that one Gratitude, gratitude, show gratitude. Also, if you show gratitude, it will turn around much quicker and come towards you much quicker. Yeah, very true. And you don't need to be ashamed of where you are in life either, as to okay. what state you are or anything like that. Precisely, precisely. There's a lot of shame around, as, as women, when we start to get older, that we're now not beautiful and not this and not that. It's but you know what made me realise getting older, the young people think they know it all, but and I see it back in young readers as well, that um, once you have life experience, which you have when you're older, you're much wiser in life experience. You can, I think, that's why I can see or feel deeper than other readers. Yeah. Because any deck that I pick up, I can make it work. And with the transparent tarot, that's this one, right? There's nothing on them. And I've, I was doubting my own intuition, my own clairvoyancy. This has proven to me that I can do anything. Yeah, and that, that's something that we don't cherish enough of as we get older. The, the things that we can bring to the table that we couldn't at a younger age. No, no. Uh, but I think uh, I do appreciate it and I do see it now. Uh, because when you're younger, you're in the fast lane and now we are forced to <laughs> slow down. <laughs> Yeah, the, mind, yeah, so the mind is still true. ticking the hundred seconds a minute, uh, <laughs> beats to a minute or whatever, uh, ten to a dozen. Yeah, but, that's yeah. brilliant. Because then you are following number eight because you are celebrating life in in all the different stages. Yeah, even um, uh, I realise now why I had to go through these car accidents and by realizing why 
I have had to go, go through them. It's enriched me. It sounds crazy. I have been angry. I've been at that stage. Why me? Why did that stupid person do that to me? And now I just, she's got to live with her conscience or he's got to live with their conscience. I have to take this as my journey and turn it around. And now uh, I'm turning it around by doing this and I want to do the workshop. I've already come out of the closet about whiplash. I've made a video, put it on YouTube so it's out there. So I don't have to be embarrassed about my speech or the way I am. I am who I am and I'm proud to be me. So you should be. And now I can help people with losses. I can help people with, whether it's with death or a job or a house. And I want to put a workshop together as well to deal with loss. I want to do so much, but never mind. Let's get back to business. Okay, nine, a tune with the cycle of the earth and moon. Uh, can you give your definition of that one before I do it? Okay, um, well, my version of that, for me personally, I like to work with the different phases of the moon. So I'll have my new moon wishes that I will, or intentions, my new moon intentions that I will set on the night of the, the new moon and I'd like to work through things heading towards the, that's my main couple of weeks of action normally, is from the new moon through to, through to the full moon to try and push everything through to, for it to come to fruition. And then you what, have a lull. What do you do then when there is a regression? Retrograde, sorry. This is still quite new to me. So at the moment, I'm just working with the main moon phases um, and kind of working it out as I go. I finally got myself a moonology diary, which I'm going to be using next year. Yeah. Which has everything in there. So I'm still learning as I go. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of working the, the, to the best of your abilities because nobody knows everything. No, but uh, I find that retrograde, I never knew anything about retrograde until I was watching other readers talking about retrograde. Mercury retrograde is the biggest yeah. me. Uh, that's also in my chart. It has really got affected on me, especially on my electrical uh, gear, like my computer or my camera. <laughs> it always goes wrong. Oh. So... Yeah, I, I, I try and do that and then I will try and... Do you do rituals uh, on the full moon? I know you do meditations because you do that on Facebook. Yes. I've, on I've healing stopped. moon, healing moon, isn't it? Yeah, healing moons. Yeah. That's my Facebook page and, and website as well. Um, but I normally do them via Facebook. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll do the meditations because around the full moon, a lot of our fears and anxieties all start to come up and our negative thoughts around not being enough because mm -hmm. they kind of push against us from making that progress so there's a lot of work around letting go of those sorts of thought patterns and beliefs um, that can be done around the full moon but do you do any rituals no my rituals are normally for the new moon i don't always do them for the full moon um, what you could do is when a moon is waxing and then yes uh, so when the moon is waxing is when you would do your spells for increase and abundance and then the waning moon when it's getting smaller is when you would do your your more banishing spells or releasing of things um, because okay. of its production so if you wanted to let go of anything spell wise Coming into this book, um, we haven't even discussed this book yet, but they've got the banishing, the lesser banishing ritual. Can you tell us about about that just shortly in the video when we're going to discuss this book? Because yes. um, there are the, uh, the ordinary spells, then you've got the lesser banishing spells, 
and then the rituals. So what is the difference between a ritual and a spell? To me, a ritual is more about the the bits and pieces that you actually use yeah. and how you set them up and your altar space and all that sort of thing. Whereas a spell can be very simple, small, and doesn't necessarily have to have all of those different pieces within that that activity. Okay. If Thanks. that makes sense. Yeah. Um, then we well for number nine, for number eight, gratitude and celebration. I had the three of cups and the ten of cups. For number nine, be conscious, uh, attune, uh, attune with the cycle of the earth and moon. I had the high priestess and the moon, obviously. And I forgot to write it down, but it's just imprinted in my brain. <laughs> okay, number ten, breathe or breath, no, breathe and eat correctly. So that's where we bring in the meditation. So, uh, number 10, live correctly. Be conscious of what you eat uh, or do. Think before you buy, for example, or think before you speak. Think organic. Sorry. I'm learning as well, you know. That's brilliant. Uh, I love it. Uh, it's food for thought. Uh, you know, it's 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 nice to talk to somebody that has an, the same interest as I have, and it can understand what I'm on about because I know you do cards as well. Yeah. Uh, uh, t uh, Eleven, exercise the body as well as the spirit, and that's the King of Swords, the Knight of uh, the. Um, the uh, the King of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Also the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands because they're action. Action man! Superman! <laughs> okay. And the King of Swords is mental and verbal and the, the Wands is actually coming into action and being creative. Yeah. And then again, uh, the meditation, uh, 10 minutes in the morning, 10 minutes at night, and then 10 minutes to rest after each 10 minutes in the morning and 10 minutes. So it's really 20 minutes in the morning, 20 minutes at night. And also I had the Hermit and the Four of Swords and the Hanged Man, because those three cards are also meditating cards, taking time out for yourself. If you are active, you must also not forget to take your rest. Yeah, so it's good to have that balance. Then we have um, meditate every day. Well, that's I think number 12 and number 11 are more or less the same. Because spirit is really like uh, meditation, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there's spirit would also be to do with following a faith what, what, what lights us up on the inside, what's important to us. Okay, um, what's yeah, it's, it's it's to do with that soul connection within ourselves, and um, yes, yeah, so it's really important to look after that aspect of ourselves and to be able to follow our passions and do something that we really enjoy and makes us happy, yeah. as well as exercising our bodies. Yeah. And number 13, honour the goddess and God. So that is, again, the goddesses that we've talked about and the goddess, the high priestess. I, I got that for that. And also the moon and the sun and the star. And the world. And yeah. that's the way I would interpret the the uh, the tarot w relating to the rules. Yeah. Now, in the um, that's another task I could we could set in the workshop. 
um, ask the, uh, the, 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 the people that partake in the workshop, I'll call them clients, it's much easier, um, what card would relate to you? Would it be uh, your zodiac sign or uh, would it be something to do with one of your um, ailments? Like uh, in, in the book, you will find under each organ, you'll get a tarot card, you'll get a gemstone, uh, you must probably also get an astrological sign to it, like Gemini, Libra, or that is related to uh, the element. So then they will have to start thinking about their ailments or the negative or shadow side of the things that they are trying to improve and how to relate that to the astrological sign. And then we can discuss that, the card, with their astrological sign. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So if it's the lungs, then the lungs is most probably Gemini, uh, out of the top of my head. Um, that will be uh, the organ lungs, Gemini, and the client could be a Leo. So how, if he's got trouble with the lungs, how would that relate to Leo? That, that's making a puzzle, try to, stimulate thought here. Then we have uh, paragraph one and I'm just going to flip through the last two pages because then we have reached chapter two. Well done. It's been interesting so far, I think. Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, um, also because I read in paragraph one, as women we are are made up of all the elements. Why didn't um, I have to think about this? These elements are, um, are what make our world alive. Remove just one element and life cannot exist. The goddesses is the essential being. But it opens the book or the 13th th rule, goddesses and God. So God must be masculine. And we also have the masculine and the feminine in ourselves, whether we're a wizard, because I don't see any words of wizards in here, because if you've got witches, you must have wizards. Yeah. To get little lizards. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean lizards. <laughs> that is Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, little witches or oh, wizards. Yeah. Oh God, this is cracking me up. This is more fun. Ah. Okay, so I have written down because I'm not a feminist, but I don't like people, uh, cabby holing people, right? As women, pardon, I also think she means our feminine side as we are all connected and have a feminine side and a masculine side whether we are witches or wizards, these rules apply to all of us. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I agree with you there. We all have um, masculine and feminine within us and, and we need that balance between the two different energies. Yeah, we well. can't do without. We, we can't one. We can't do without one or the other. OK. In order, and um, this is also uh, funny the way she said it, in order for us to pass unto her, that's Mother Earth, um, the best energy possible, we need to uh, be the best we can be now. And we can't do that unless we are happy with ourselves and are healthy enough to meditate, pray, conduct rituals, be physically active and just plain enjoy life. Now, this means to me consciousness of who we are in this time and in this creation. Would you agree? Yeah. We can, yeah, only, we can only do our best. Like you said earlier on, uh, we are all different. Yeah. Nothing, 
That we are part of the ultimate energy field. Okay, God, divine, the universe. What do you think or how do you see it? That is what we could throw in the group as well, because everybody is different. And it's nice to learn from them. Yes. What they think. Yeah. And that's why also working through this book will hopefully bring you to your goal because you are supported by a group. Yes, H having that accountability. Yeah. Is, is really good. It's, we've got a saying uh, in Holland, we, that's the stick behind the door. OK, yeah. now in paragraph three. Passing on, we will to the other, when we pass on to the other realm. But indeed, this is a different this is different for everybody, but we have to be good to others and to nature and to animals, as well as people, of course. Respect comes to mind. So the last paragraph that um, and I'll read it. Uh, that is what it means for me. What I've discovered is that all you need is what you already have. The magician deep inside. You just need to use it a different way. Herbs and using our witchiness are parts of our primal urge to reconnect with our wild natures and heal ourselves. Our goal is to find peace and comfort. Can do that without spending a lot of money and wasting time at doctor visits or taking medication, medicine, you don't really need. Really, deep within yourself. And ferret, and ferret means do the research, dig for information, out of the elements and the inner connection to all that you are. Every woman or man is born a witch or a wizard. It's up to you to awaken and heal. And I'm just putting that wizard in there because I think that's a bit discriminating because they do exist. Yeah, this has just been aimed towards women rather yeah. than both sexes. Yeah. So if there's any men out there, join the group. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't just just for women. It's for everyone. OK, well, Thank you very much and I will see you next week and may Thank God you. bless you. May the goddess bless you. May the universe bless you and we love you. Cheers. Love you too. Bye bye. Bye.